Welcome to Bitdefender. My name is Josh Borges, Solution Architect. Today we're going to look at Network Traffic Security Analytics. We're going to look at how NTSA helps us identify anomalous behavior on the network. Using this data, how we can quickly find systems that pose the highest risk, and how we would begin an investigation using the information. NTSA collects information from your network using a network probe plugged into a span port. We look at a mirrored copy of your traffic and then extract key information needed. That data is then sent to the NTSA appliance for analysis. Prior to analysis, Bitdefender enriches the data using Bitdefender Cloud Threat Intelligence. This is information collected from over half a billion devices globally. This enriched data is then analyzed and alerts are generated for malicious behavior. That is then presented for security analysts to be able to investigate further. Jumping into the console, we land on the dashboard. The top dashboard shows us all of the latest level one alerts. All alerts collected are categorized as either threat level one through five, one being the most critical and riskiest, and five being the least risky to the environment. From here, we can jump into our alerts history and see a collection of all the alerts ever collected. From there, we can then filter down based on the alert types we want to look at. It could be a level one, two, three, or four plus. In this case, here's a collection of all the level one alerts that have been most recently generated. Jumping back to the dashboard, this might feel like a lot of alerts to begin to investigate. And if I had to look at them one-on-one -on -one individually, that could be a little bit of a daunting task. As we switch to analysis per device, we begin to see a different story. Now we're able to categorize endpoints based on IP address and host name and look at the systems that pose the highest risk based on the number of alerts they're generating within our environment. From here, I can then select a specific system and look at the alerts that are causing it to be the riskiest to our environment. From here, I can then click on a specific alert and begin my investigation of what's happening here. In this case, it says bad hood. By selecting IntelliTriage details, I can get a little bit more description on what a bad hood is. It's a bad neighborhood, bad connection to a specifically malicious or unwanted destination. So in in that case, it's been blacklisted with a category of bad hood. Here we recommend you take some action based on this information. Additionally, you can look up information around the destination that we're talking to using virus total. If this is data that should not be categorized as malicious, it can then be whitelisted to prevent these alerts in the future. Within teletriage, we also categorize it based on our certainty and the severity of the type of alert. In this case, being a threat level 5, it's low severity. If we switch down to a threat level 1, our IntelliTriage switches, and that becomes high severity, meaning we need to take greater action. Our alert details always give us key information, such as the source machine and the destination that we're communicating with. Thank you for joining us. You can find more information at bitdefender.com forward slash NTSA.